What's going on guys, Kaiser here from Kaiser Reveal, and today we'll be taking a look at a $99 4K action camera by MG Cool. Now get best this and this out to me for review, but as always I'll be giving you guys my unbiased opinion. With that said, let's get to it. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you. Now MG Cool did a nice job with the packaging of this device. Everything is neatly placed and snug. Inside the box, you get a user manual, your charging cable, a couple of accessories, and the Explore 3 housed inside a waterproof case that can be submerged up to 30 meters. This camera has a 14 megapixel Panasonic MM34112 sensor with an iCatch V50 processor and a 170 degree field of view. On the right side you have a speaker. On the rear you have a 2 inch touchscreen with a resolution of 320 by 240. On the left side you have a HDMI port, a mini USB port, and a micro SD card slot. Up top you have a power and mode button, a shutter and menu button, a mic, and a LED Wi-Fi indicator. And on the bottom of the device you have an option for a tripod mount, and a 1100 milliamp battery that'll get you about an hour of recording time in 4K or one hour and 20 minutes in 1080. The battery takes about two hours to fully charge and that'll get you about seven days of standby time. Now the screen is pretty solid. It has a good amount of brightness so you won't have any trouble viewing it on sunny days. As for features, this device has pretty much all the standard ones to include Wi-Fi. Now with Wi-Fi, this will allow you to control the camera with your mobile device once you download the app. Now unfortunately, there's no dash cam mode, so to use this as a dash cam, you're going to have to manually start and stop recording. This device also features scenes. Now this allows you to jump quickly between specific looks without having to dial them in manually. Now in terms of video resolution, you don't have as many choices as other action cameras. You're pretty much limited to 4K30, 1080 or 72120. Now the video quality isn't as good as I'd like. There's not much difference between it and cameras priced at around 50 bucks or so. Now the problem with that is, once you get into that $100 price range, the competition starts to get a bit stiff, especially when you consider the quality that Yi cameras produce. Now this camera does have image stabilization, and unlike most sub $100 cameras, it can also be used in 4K. Now I wouldn't say that it's the best, but it's certainly better than not having it at all. In addition to that, you also have your standard time lapse features and picture control. In terms of picture quality, I say that it produces fairly similar images to other cameras in this price range. Alright, so now on to my opinion of this device. Overall, I think it offers a lot of good features and qualities, but I feel like it's too close in price to other $100 plus action cameras that offer slightly better video quality. Now on the flip side of that, this is one of the few action cameras that offers image stabilization at 4K 30 frames per second. So you have to decide if you'd rather have IS at 4K with lower quality, no IS but higher quality, or simply spend a bit more. But anyway, I'm curious to know what you guys think, so leave a comment below. And I'll leave a link in the description just in case you guys want to check this out. And as always, if you guys enjoy this content, be sure to hit that like button and definitely subscribe. So until next time, peace. You are, you are.